How is it going, Data Vices? No Dad here, and welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. And it has been a very, very long time since I've actually recorded a video. I was actually on vacation all of last week. I actually made videos well in advance, so you guys still got videos during that week, but it has been like a solid week for me since I've actually recorded a video of Assassin. And there was actually a bit of a small glitch that occurred while I was on vacation. If you join a classic server right now, not any other game mode, just classic mode, you will see that there are a couple of glitches. First of all, you will see that some of the lobby is actually in Chinese. I believe this is Chinese. Maybe it's like Japanese or something. I don't really know. Not that good at that sort of language, but I believe this is Chinese. So you can see, you know, the maps sign right here is Chinese. Uh, missions here is in Chinese. VIP is in Chinese. Obby is in Chinese. And um, some parts of the lobby are still in English, which is kind of weird. Like, you know, the builders and the artists, this is still in English. And some parts are in Chinese, and some parts are actually completely removed. You'll see usually there's a sign here showing Prisman's Twitter, along with the server age. That is completely gone. Uh, there used to be a little radio sign here that's completely gone. And I believe there were a couple of other signs, like promoting VIP and stuff, like the VIP Game Pass. And yeah, that is completely gone. And most importantly, if you enter the VIP room, you will see that the sign is completely gone. You know, there used to be a sign here saying, say no to scammers. And uh, that is completely gone, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I do believe this is just a glitch. I don't think the sign is going to be here forever. But my theory is, I think that Prisman is working on a brand new language for Assassin. You guys may or may not already know that Assassin is not only in English. You can also play Assassin in Spanish and I believe Portuguese. Don't quote me on that. But I think you can also play Assassin in Portuguese. You know, if you go on a Roblox page, scroll all the way down and change your language. I think if you like pick Spanish, you can like play Assassin completely in Spanish, like everything will be completely in Spanish. And I think that applies to Portuguese as well, but I'm not completely sure. But it does seem like Prisman is working on a Chinese translation. So that is pretty cool, but it kind of seems like the Chinese translation kind of leaked into the English version, specifically in classic mode. Again, if you play any other mode, you will not see this glitch. And I'm pretty sure just some parts of the lobby are removed because there's not yet a Chinese translation. I don't think there's a Chinese translation of the sign yet, so it's not here yet. Along with the billboard right here showing Prisman's Twitter that doesn't seem to be around as well. So yeah, I think this is just a glitch. I think the sign will come back eventually. Don't worry about about that and if you play on any other mode you will see the sign there so don't worry too much about it anyway guys in this video we are going to show off a brand new exotic that is right ladies and gentlemen i haven't gotten the chance to show this off yet because of my vacation but um as you can see we have a brand new exotic the diamond challenger so this is one of the brand new clan prizes that you can get very recently prisman has changed the top 25 and the top 10 clan prizes and in this video we are going to show off the brand new top 25 clan prize exotic the diamond challenger so yeah guys in this video we are going to show off this brand new knife and of course we are going to talk about its current and future value if you guys are excited for this episode of assassin then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot also guys, if you are new, be sure to subscribe. We are currently doing a Glorious Axe giveaway. That is right, guys. We are giving away a free Glorious Axe. If you want to win that, just subscribe, click the bell, and then click the I in the top right corner. And then just do what that video says. You will automatically be entered into that giveaway, and you could possibly win a Glorious Axe Mythic right here. Anyway, guys, let's try out the brand new Diamond Challenger in battle. All right, guys, so here it is, the brand new Diamond Challenger exotic that you can get by being in a top 25 clan. So as you can see, this is kind of sort of like an ice knife. It kind of has those blue and white icy colors, and the effect kind of has a little bit of snow around it. So this kind of looks like an ice knife, which I don't think it's supposed to. I think this is supposed to look more like a diamond knife. Because, you know, it's Diamond Challenger. And Diamond's here kind of supposed to look like a diamond. So, I think this is sort of supposed to look like a diamond. But, um, I don't know. It kind of looks like an ice knife, if you ask me. But, yeah. As you can see, this is a super cool knife. Much better than the Diamond tier, honestly. I feel like the Diamond tier was kind of bland. I didn't really care about it that much. But, um, the Diamond Challenger right here is a very cool knife. It has a lot more details than the Diamond tier. It has an effect of its own which is awesome. We have another exotic with an effect of its own. 
and it's a clan prize which is great you know a lot of people wanted a clan update everyone was like prisman please update clans and it's great that we got these brand new prizes it is great and it is great that we have clan prizes with effects of their own they look very very good they give you an incentive to grind the only thing I don't like about this knife at the moment is it sort of seems to be glitch. If we turn the camera this way, you can see that the effect is kind of glitched. You can see that the effect is here and the knife is here. So, you know, when you look at it from this angle, you know, it doesn't look that bad just because, you know, that's how depth perception works. Like the effect kind of looks the same. But when you look at it at this sort of angle or this sort of angle, you can see that the effect has definitely glitched a little bit. You know, it's sort of next to the knife as opposed to on the knife. Uh, this does not apply to the Onyx Champion. You know, this right here, you know, the effect works perfectly fine on this. But in the top 25 prize, the Diamond Challenger, the effect is kind of sort of glitched at the moment. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. So uh, hopefully Prisman fixes that soon. But it's kind of annoying to use this knife when the effect is just sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, hopefully Prisman moves the effect so that it's actually touching the knife like most effects should. You use something like Runic Blades, like, yeah, that's definitely, like, touching the knife. It does not touch the Diamond Challenger. It looks fine in some angles, but on other angles, it just doesn't look correct. But, this is still a very, very fun knife to use, and once Prisman sort of fixes this knife, I'm sure it'll be much better of a knife. But yeah, in terms of value with the Diamond Challenger, it is unfortunately not tradable. If we trade somebody, let's see if I can trade somebody. Let's trade this person right here. As you can see, the Diamond Challenger is unfortunately not tradable, which is kind of a shame. So in terms of value with the Diamond Challenger, unfortunately, the Diamond Challenger does not have any value. Now that doesn't mean it's not valuable or rare or a good knife. It just means you can't give the knife a value. It's kind of just a golden rule. If a knife is not tradable, you unfortunately can't really give it a value because, you know, no one is able to trade it. So how much would people actually give if it was tradable? Obviously, you know, some people might speak hypotheticals like, oh, if it was tradable, I'd give this many exotics. But even then, you can't really make a value based off of hypotheticals. If a knife is not tradable, no matter how good or how rare it might be, it cannot have a value if it is not tradable so at the moment the diamond challenger does not have a value and the same applies with the diamond tier the diamond tier is not tradable yet which is kind of silly you know everyone kind of thought oh if there are going to be new clan prizes the old clan prizes would become tradable that unfortunately does not seem to be the case yet the diamond tier is still not tradable so that also does not have value however a lot of people do think that the diamond tier is going to become tradable very very soon so hopefully prisman makes an update where the diamond tier is tradable along with the onyx tier but the question is how much is the diamond tier going to be worth once it becomes tradable now i know i just said you know we can't really talk hypotheticals but if we do some math we actually can determine how many diamond tiers actually exist in assassin at the moment so in order to do the math i made this clan when the clan update first came out so we're going to use that as a baseline the clan update came out around february 10th actually i think it came a little bit earlier because you know the system was a little bit different but um yeah the first ever clan season was actually on february 10th so with that in mind we can actually count the number of weeks or clan seasons that we've had the diamond tier and if we actually go to our calendar and count that out we can actually find that there were 25 seasons with the diamond tier now, if your clan is in the top 25 by the end of a season, anyone with 50 points would get the diamond tier. So we can actually do a little bit of math to determine how many diamond tiers came out per season. So 25 clans can get the diamond tier and there are 20 clan members per clan. So, you know, 25 times 20, that is about 500 diamond tiers per season. And then we multiply that by 25 once again because there were 25 clan seasons with the diamond tier. And there are approximately 12,000 
500 diamond tiers in existence now there could be more diamond tiers and there could be less because keep in mind if you didn't get 50 points and your clan got in the top 25 you would not get the diamond tier and that's probably happened to a fair amount of clans you know there could be like one or two members who just didn't get any points at all and they want to get the diamond tier and there also was a little bit of a duplication glitch where some people would get more than one diamond tier so yeah there could be more there could be less but there is approximately 12,500 diamond tiers in assassin which that's kind of rare to put that in perspective there are approximately 7,000 dark crystals in assassin so that's sort of something to compare it to you know dark crystal nowadays that came out about a year ago that is kind of sort of rare and you know diamond tier there's a couple thousand more though so i don't know i feel like diamond tier could end up being a very very rare knife in the future you know especially considering once it becomes tradable it will probably be salvageable you'll be able to disassemble diamond tier for tokens which you know that could make it a little bit more rare so i don't know i feel like the diamond tier could end up being a very very rare knife in the future and of course, I believe that is going to apply to the Diamond Challenger as well. I feel like eventually, maybe in about half a year or so, I think that later down the road, Prisman could change the clan prizes once again. You know, he could change the prizes for the top 25 and the top 10, and the Diamond Challenger could become unobtainable as well. This could possibly happen after another 25 clan seasons, we don't really know. But um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say for the Diamond Challenger. I have yet to get the Onyx Champion, so my clan is going to have to get in the top 10 at some point, which I am working on doing that. Right now, the clan is trying to do that. We're currently in 17th place, which isn't that bad. If we fail, then it is what it is. You know, I will try again next month. You know, once again, the clan does monthly Onyx Champion grinds. And I've actually had to raise the minimum point requirement to stay in the clan. It used to be 1,000 points per season. I've unfortunately had to raise it to 1,500 points per season. It seems like a lot of clans are doing that. So yeah, I've had to unfortunately raise the requirement to actually get the Onyx Champion. But I think once we get our first Onyx Champion, I will probably lower the requirement to around 1,200 or 1,300 rather than 1,500. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Once again, if you guys want to join the clan, all you have to do is join the Purple Nation Discord, and then in the server info, there is a Purple Nation clan application, and those applications are currently open, so you guys can apply for the Purple Nation clan. We are looking for members. Right now, we're currently one member short, so if you guys are interested in joining the clan and you're able to get 1,500 points in a week, be sure to apply for the clan. You can join the Purple Nation Discord in the description, and then you can apply for the clan, and hopefully we will get the Onyx Champion very soon. Once we get the Onyx Champion, I'll be sure to make a video on that knife. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Assassin. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things that YouTube people do, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.